Romans 11. So much of the Bible is taken up with the, the history of Israel. And it's a very sad, pathetic history, really, of human weakness and failure. They paid little attention to the law of their God. They abused his love. They only turned to him when they were desperate. They worshipped idols, killed his son, rejected his love for them. But still, God remained with them, and he still does. The current status of Israel with God, therefore, is a bit of a mystery. On one hand, they've broken his covenant and rejected him. God has turned to the Gentiles. And yet we read here in Romans 11 that God did not cast off his people whom he foreknew. But at the end of this chapter, Romans 11, Paul is carried away in praise and wonder at the extent of God's grace to Israel. He has called them and he still loves them for the sake of their fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. They are beloved for the father's sake. Why is Paul talking at this point about Israel and God's amazing love for them. It's in the context of the whole argument in Romans, trying to persuade us of the certainty of our salvation by grace. He quotes Israel as an example, really, of God's saving love, of how God keeps hold of people and doesn't wish to let anyone go, even with people who, who turn away from him. God keeps trying with them. He uses circumstances and situations to try to nudge them to return to him. Fear of being condemned by God, I suppose, is only natural and normal because we are indeed sinners before a holy God. But we see in the way that he keeps hold of Israel, wanting to save them at all costs, that really he does not want to condemn anyone. This is the meaning of the Hebrew word for Jesus, Yahoshua, Yahweh saves. He is a saviour God, and his work through his son, the Lord Jesus, is proof enough of that. And the other thing you see from all this is that God works through human sin. He doesn't just turn away in disgust from the situation. He works through it, because it was because Israel rejected the gospel that the gospel was taken to the Gentiles, and in the end... God is not beaten. Far more people came to be saved than would have been the case if Israel had not rejected the gospel. In this sense, God is never defeated by human sin and failure. Somehow he tries to push through his saving purpose with us all. And it is only if we push him away forcefully that he cannot save us.